Hey guys, it's Erin. The first design is this really simple and chic black and white outline, so I'm starting off by painting my nail with a black nail polish. Then I'm taking a white nail polish and painting right over the black how I would usually paint my nail, but instead I'm leaving a bit of an edge on each of the sides. And once the white nail polish is dry, I'm taking the black nail polish again and just swiping it along the free edge of my nail to seal the outline and finish the nail. The next design is a super easy pineapple, so I'm starting off by painting my nail yellow. And once that's dry, I'm applying a matte top coat over my nail and letting it dry for maybe two minutes so it's still a little bit dentable. Then I'm taking a dental floss pick and I'm using that to roll across my nail and basically create a crosshatch pattern in the slightly dentable nail polish. So I'm starting in one direction doing diagonal lines and then switching to make the lines go in the opposite direction. Then I'm taking a green nail polish and just with the brush straight out of the bottle, creating a little messy stem at the top of the pineapple. And I'm not applying a top coat over this design since I already used a matte top coat. The next design is a cute little rainbow on clouds, so I'm starting off by painting my nail red. Then once that's dry, I'm again creating the same shape with a orange nail polish, then a yellow, and then a green. Now the only tool you need for this design is a bobby pin to make the clouds, so take a bobby pin and open it up by bending it outwards. Then you want to take a white nail polish and use one of the ends of the bobby pin to create some little dots for the clouds along the bottom of the rainbow. Finally, apply a top coat. Design number four is an easy marble nail idea, so I'm starting off by painting my nail white and on my second coat of white nail polish I'm making it a little bit thicker. Then while that's still wet, I'm dropping a few dots of another nail polish color into the white. And then I'm taking a sewing needle and just swirling those colors around to create a fun marbled effect. You can use as many colors as you'd like for this design and swirl it as much as you'd like until you're happy with the design. You can also drop in more dots of the color like I just did because I thought the design needed a little more white, so just play around with it. Then I'm just applying a top coat. For this next design, I'm doing a really easy, cute caterpillar that's really perfect for the back to school season, so I'm starting off with a light blue base. Then I'm taking a green nail polish and just with the brush right out of the bottle, I'm creating a few dots in a curvy line across my nail. Then I'm taking my sewing pin again with a red nail polish and just creating some dots up the caterpillar's back. Then with my bobby pin, I'm creating two larger white circles for his eyes. And again using my pin to add black pupils to those eyes. Then I'm dragging my pin across his face just to create a little smile. And taking the green again to drag the pin and create some antenna. And of course, applying a top coat. This next design is a really easy camo print, so I'm starting off with an army green base. Then I'm taking a lighter neutral green and just creating some random blobs across my nail using that bobby pin as a dotting tool. And again, repeating this process with a darker green. Apply a layer of top coat and there you have your super easy camo nails. The next design is just a bunch of eyeballs, which I think is really fun for Halloween coming up. So I'm starting off by painting my nail black. Then I'm taking my bobby pin dotting tool again and just creating some white dots across my nail for a few eyeballs. Then taking a light blue nail polish and my bobby pin dotting tool again and adding some blue dots on top of the white ones. And finally for the smallest dots of the eyes, I'm taking my sewing pin again and a black nail polish and just adding those to each eyeball. Finish with a layer of top coat. I like to think of this next design as a scalloped wave pattern and all you need is the brush from the nail polish bottle, so I'm starting with a white base. Then I'm taking a light blue and just doing three scallops along the top of my nail. Once that's dry, I'm taking a slightly darker blue and doing another layer of scallops. And finally, a darker blue and doing one last row. Finish with a layer of top coat and there you have a really easy gradient scalloped nail. This next design is an easy watermelon, so I'm starting off with a red base. 
Then I'm taking the brush of a white nail polish and doing a French tip along the bottom edge of my nail. Once that's dry, I'm taking a green nail polish and again doing a French tip but leaving a slight bit of white. Then I'm taking my bobby pin again with a black nail polish and just doing some seeds for the watermelon. And finish with a top coat. For this last design, I'm starting with a white base. And all you're going to need is just some plastic wrap from your kitchen. So once your base color is completely dry, dab a little bit of another nail polish color onto some paper and slightly dip the plastic wrap into the nail polish. Then I like to dab it off on a piece of paper to remove the excess. And dab it onto your nail to create this kind of splattered marbled effect. Repeat with as many colors as you'd like. And once you're happy with the design, apply a layer of top coat. So there you have 10 really easy nail designs using either no tools or just items you can find around your house. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more from Q-Polish, you can click these boxes here and subscribe to Q-Polish by clicking the circle here for a new video every week. You can also subscribe to my personal nail channel by clicking the circle here.